This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to present your work online. If you're anything like me and you're a cinematographer or photographer, you need to present yourself online and Squarespace is a great place to build a website for that very purpose. Start with one of their pre-existing templates to get you going. That way you don't have to spend a lot of time to build the website. Squarespace makes it super easy to embed videos right on your website using Vimeo or YouTube. Whichever platform you like, you can simply just inject that right into the website and it'll play back with no problems. You can change and update your website whenever you want. You can even do that on the go with one of their apps. And also your website will reformat for mobile if someone happens to find you on Instagram or something like that. So to build your next website, use Squarespace. Click the link in the description to get 10% off. And I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Why are you here? Why are you watching my channel? I bet it's because you're a filmmaker. Maybe a cinematographer, maybe an aspiring filmmaker and cinematographer, whatever that may be. The reality is you're here because you want to make videos. And the reason I'm here is for the very same thing, but I'm at that point in my career where I want to make movies. Now, I think this is a crazy thing to say out loud. I want to make movies. I mean, I don't live in LA. I've never shot a movie before, but the reason I got into videos was to eventually maybe hopefully make a movie one day. Now, I never wanted to be a director per se. I always wanted just to DP movies. And that's why this channel has been so much fun because I get to experiment with my cameras and lighting and start and just keep practicing to get to that point. Now, obviously I've shot a lot of commercials. I've been doing this for the last 10 years, music videos, commercials, and even a short film or two, but I'm still constantly practicing using this channel. Actually, when I started this channel, I would recreate scenes from my favorite movies just as a practice, just as a way to show off, first off, how these inexpensive cameras and inexpensive lights can get you the same look as a Hollywood film, but also to kind of flex my muscles in that department to help me kind of figure out and understand how to light for film and cinema. It was kind of killing two birds with one stone. I was getting to practice and you guys were getting to learn something. It was really fun, it was really great. And I kind of stopped doing that because it was hard to just keep incorporating that into every video. Sometimes those videos don't get very many clicks. I think a lot of you like that segment of my videos, but the reality is it doesn't look good on a thumbnail so people wouldn't watch it. And I'm not here just to make content for YouTube and just get clicks. Uh, but sometimes you have to grow a channel and that was something that I had to step away from a little bit. But now I want to change that. I want to come back to that. I want to start making stuff that looks more truly cinematic, not slow motion 120p on an A7S 3 cinematic. I'm talking about something that looks like a movie. You guys know that that's something that I aspire to do. So I want to keep practicing. I want to keep doing that. And I want to bring you guys along on this journey. Actually, I want to get some audience participation with this. So I've recreated some movie scenes on the channel before, but I've also made like my own little opening scenes for my YouTube videos. Um, and then if you've watched my channel before, you know that I've kind of shot those scenes and I break down how I shot them using whatever camera or new light or whatever I'm using, whatever I'm reviewing at the time. So I think the hard part for me is coming up with a new concept every single time to be able to incorporate it into the videos and shoot these scenes and then break it down and then cram it all into a 10 minute video. That gets a little bit challenging, but what if, Here's an idea. You guys submit some ideas. Basically in the comments below, I want you guys to give me like a log line for a film or a log line for a scene or a short film, whatever it is, something that you think that I practically speaking, let's not be unreasonable here. Something that I could probably do in my house or maybe outside. You pick the location, but something that's not on a spaceship or needs super crazy special visual effects. Cause I don't know how to do those. Let's just take, practical ideas and try to come up with some scenes for me to shoot to help exercise this muscle. Now a log line in Hollywood is basically like a one or two sentence premise. It's basically the idea of your movie. Over here talking about like Jurassic Park, for instance, we would say it's a theme park designed around dinosaurs that we brought back to life. Something very simple like that. So I take one of these ideas and I try to turn it into something that is uh, built into a narrative environment and then I film it and then I show you guys how I lit and filmed it in my approach. I think this would be good for you and for me. You get to pick up with an idea. It gets your creative mind thinking of something. And then I try to take that idea and turn it into something. Now I may expand on these ideas or take away things from these ideas. Basically I just need a little nugget, one log line just to get me going and I'll try to make it. Now this is an experiment. I don't know how well, this is going to work if it's even possible, if it's even sustainable to do something like this. You know, I just have the one house. I've got a backyard. I could go to parking lots. I could find locations 
That's kind of up to you guys, and if it's feasible for me, I will try to make it happen. Most likely I will shoot in this 2-4-0 aspect ratio, like most common movies are shot in these days. Maybe every once in a while I'll switch that up depending on what camera I'm using or whatever, like maybe make it look more like for Netflix, so it's like a two to one ratio. Now I don't know how long I can keep this series going, but as long as you are sending me ideas that I think I can make, Let's just keep it going. And I may not do this every week, but it is something that I'm gonna start incorporating onto the channel. So if it's something that interests you, get your ideas going, get, get some log lines ready for me and leave those in the comments below um, so I can kind of pick through those, I'll save those. And you know, if I don't get to yours next week, if I maybe I just don't like your idea or I don't think I can do it, or maybe I just haven't had time to do that one. But at some point I may come back to your idea uh, and make it on the channel. And then of course I will give you credit for the idea and I'll even explain how I've expanded on the idea or if I just went straight in with the idea how it is. And most likely I'll probably be acting in these myself. Maybe I'll have my bud Easton help me, or maybe I can find some actors. Maybe this is gonna be something bigger. Maybe this is a way of starting to practice making short films and narrative work. Well, this is a short, simple video. I just kind of wanted to throw this idea out there. I wanted to get your opinion on it. If it interests you, definitely leave one of those comments below. And if not, well then, don't worry about this uh, video. There'll be more uh, content coming up soon with more cameras. I'm actually hoping to review the Red Komodo this week. Um, I am gonna take a little vacation, so it might be a couple weeks before I get that review out, but that should be something really fun. I'll probably compare it to the Pocket 6K, obviously, and some other cameras, and so you can really see my thoughts on the Red Komodo. A lot of you have asked me for that review, and so finally my friend Nick is in town with his Komodo, so I get to uh, take it for a little test run. The reality is I wanna make movies. I don't know how I'm going to do that living in Oklahoma, but it's something I still aspire to do and it's something I still want to try to at least start dabbling in and experimenting with it. And I'm not going to give up that dream even though I don't really want to move to LA. Have you even been playing with the idea of making a short film soon? I think this series might be a good way of practicing for something like that. Thinking about narrative stuff, thinking about story structure and different camera angles that work with narrative. And I just think it'd be a really fun experiment. So if you guys are into that sort of idea, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, obviously. And if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up so it kind of pushes it in the algorithm so more of my subscriptions uh, can see it and so we can get this series made. The more people that are interested in it, the more people that comment below, the more ideas will be in the comments, which means there's more ideas for me to make on the channel. But as always, until next time, I'm I'm Sinister Sakurai. See ya.